2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, uh, general law C30A18 and the governor's March 15th, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the Southborough Council of a on Aging will be conducted via remote participation to the greatest extent possible. Specific information and the general guidelines for remote participation by members of the public and or parties with the right and or requirement to attend this meeting can be found on the town of Southborough's website at southboroughtown.com. For, for this meeting, members of the public who wish to watch or participate in the meeting may do so in the following manner by finding the meeting at southboroughtown.com backslash remote meetings. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technology means. In the event that we are unable to do so, despite best efforts, we will post on the top South Borough's website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Uh, so that's it. Thank you. Um, so the first order of business is to re review and approve the meetings of the uh, April uh, meeting. Do to, you need to take attendance? To take attendance? I believe. All right. To, to ensure there's a quorum. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Carol, <clears throat> say here. Oh, here. Bill, here. Marie Murphy. Sandra, hey. Sandra, here. Sandy, here. Here. Marianne, here. Uh, Russ, you're on mute. Russ, muted. Russ, you have to unmute. Okay, Mike. Present. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And uh, Russ, yeah. Mike is here. He's good. Okay. All right. Do I hear a, uh, uh, a motion to accept the minutes? So move. Second. 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 Okay. All right. So, hey, hey uh, Doug, can I interrupt for a second? Marie cannot hear a word anybody's saying. Oh, she just call me. She's trying to hear and she can't. I don't know why. I don't know either. She's not on you <clears throat> on my part. It's not on ours. Maybe her volume, the volume on her laptop or her. Is it your volume by any chance, Marie? But you can hear me because I'm on. The Russ, can you, do you want to change your name on your uh, identification from Doug to yourself? Just write, put put the mouse over. Or yeah, the... it, uh, Marie, it looks like your microphone is not even on because I'm looking at it, participants. Really? For some reason, your well, microphone is not turned on. Just, is, are you talking, are you talking about, uh, Doug, are you talking about Marie or? I'm, I'm talking about Marie. Uh, her, microphone is, her microphone is not turned on. Your microphone is not turned on, Marie. If, is it is is it muted? No, no it's, in, in, uh, it's muted. not. There's no little microphone huh. symbol that I can see. Everybody else has got video Don't and microphone know. symbols. Don't know. Um, can she call in? Um, she says down the bottom is a place where it says join audio, and she sure, can't. That, and it's not working. Oh. So. Um, I, th I think I would try to go out and come back in again. Uh, did you hear that? Okay. Marianne, can you take notes for a few minutes till, uh, till Marie gets oh, on? I, I would be more than happy to. She's all excited <laughs> about doing that. Okay. Okay. I just have to say. Um, Here's Mike, a pen, Marianne. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mike, thank you. Mike. Um, what he did, he did the uh, minutes and then who seconded it? I forget who seconded it. Guy did. Carol, okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. Okay.
So what we're, what we're going, what I'm going to try to do today is get through this. So by 9:30, um, we can ask Pam to leave and go into a, a discussion of her performance review and what the next steps will be. So um, if I seem to hurry this along, I do want to get through this so we can stop on time. Um, you know, and uh, also there are other people that have to leave. So we will not take any votes after 930 if anything that has to be voted on. Since I think we may lose our quorum, um, we will have to hurry this up. I think the good news is it's not a long agenda uh, today. So uh, we're going to go, Pam, we're going to go quickly through your stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah uh, no problem. Hit the, hit the highlights of what, you know, yeah. what you think is important. And then we'll, we will yeah. move on. I, Marie is still not showing that she has a, a microphone on. So she may not be able to hear us or she may not be able to talk or hear us. Can you hear us, Marie? Guess not. Oh, no. too bad. Um, hang on one second. Um, uh, Bill, can you give her the, uh, the phone number? She can come in on the phone. I'll give it to you. Uh, uh, wait, a, wait a minute. Okay. Um, I tell you what, I'll get her on the phone and then you can tell her through my phone. How's okay. That? Okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to call her. Hang on just a sec. Yeah. So while Bill is doing that, um, there is no such thing as an executive session where we are not on the record. So what we're going to try, you know, uh, everything that we do is on uh, the record, uh, which we'll explain a little bit more when we uh, when we convene, to the best of my knowledge, anyway, what I know it is. But uh, just because Pam leaves, uh, there's, no, there's no such thing as the... Uh, town not recording or we have to put minutes in for this uh, as well as what's been discussed. So Mike, whatever you say about me, I'm going to see it. So I'm leaving <laughs> at 930. So I, I, I absolve myself. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, you can change your name on the uh, from Doug Peck if you want. Just right click. Doug? Where it's Doug, I got Marie on the phone. You want to give her that telephone? Can you hear me, Russ? Sure. I can hear you. It's 929. Are you hearing this? Does she, does she hear it? 929 205 6099. Can you get that, Marie? And there's a code. There's an ID that she has to put in. Okay, good luck, yep. What's she doing? She's gonna try that number. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but there's also an ID that she has to put in. Oh. Are you Marie? <laughs> Marie? It, no, she's not on the phone. We can I see her. her. <laughs> <laughs> I moved. It, I it moved should be part of the... Line. It's always part of what I send out and the, so the, the uh, town sends out. Yeah, She's, he says you also need an ID number. And here comes the ID number. Doug, you got the ID Eight, number? 892 1832 Got that? She's got it. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Okay. All right, Pam. Okay. Um, basically, I set uh, I sent forward uh, a copy of the plan to Mark and uh, various other people as far as kind of what we're doing. 
um, and that would be to begin programming outside at the end of this month, uh, ramping up with a few more programs outside um, in June, while continuing all of our, our current programs at the same time. So um, the drive-throughs, the cable, uh, the fitness classes, all that stuff continues, um, but we'll start with the breakfasts um, and then we're gonna ramp up in June, add some more programs like the um, ice cream social and different things like that. And then um, we've got a full schedule plan outside for July and August. So that was sent to Mark and um, you know everybody that was on that kind of opening building committee kind of thing. So I haven't had any issues. Uh, <clears throat> Peg and I are working really closely with the Board of Health because there's a lot of different restrictions and things we have to do and they change all the time. Um, the downside to all of that is um, I ordered the furniture in March and I, every week I get a different delivery date. Um, so we may not have the furniture uh, <clears throat> that I need on time. So we're gonna, um, what that means, unfortunately, the guys have to bring out some furniture for us and um, we'll drag out what we have in inventory for lawn furniture and clean it up and um, kind of start with that until we get our other stuff. Um, you know, the bad part is, is they kept giving me dates as opposed to telling me it wasn't going to be there. So yeah. um, hopefully that shows up because I think it'll look better. Um, so basically you guys have the newsletter, so I'm not going to go through all of that stuff. Um, in the summertime, um, there is uh, like, a, like a mini concert kind of thing with some music, uh, something with a DJ. Um, and these, I think, are going to continue with like box type lunches. Um, unless we can do otherwise. Again, we're waiting for more guidance from the Board of Health and the state is coming out with some guidelines about food and things like that. So uh, for example, we were gonna do continental breakfast on the lawn. That's, we've had to change that because it's gonna have to be kind of like a grab and go, um, but then you can stay and eat kind of thing. Um, so we've already had to make adjustments. Um, so we'll probably be taking a look at that. I'm hoping by the summer, We'll be okay with uh, hot dog vendors and the, um, and the um, uh, food trucks and all of that stuff that we have planned. Um, we also added um, Heart to Home is going to do a freebie drive through lunch for us uh, to That's help nice. promote their business. Uh, Marianne will talk more probably about the boating um, and the hikes and things like that. Um, and we probably will continue depending maybe with the drive-throughs in the summer because those are still popular even though we're doing these things on the lawn the drive-throughs um i don't know if that's because people are on the kind of on the fence about coming out um we didn't have a huge sign up for um the breakfasts i mean it's enough to good to, to start in transition but um we'll see how it goes we'll see how many people want to want to actually come in versus drive through and things like that so um, as far as the department head meeting we had this week, there's the townhouse is still by appointment only. People will have to ring the doorbell um, to get in up there. Um, our doors are still closed. When we start these programs, we'll um, have a plan to uh, so people can come in and use the bathrooms. Um, and I ordered some signs, which uh, thank you, Bill is going to grab those for me. I wasn't sure what to put on the lawn signs. Um, as far as, you know, wear your mask, social distance. So I did a bunch of signs. Some say wear your masks, some say social <laughs> distance, and we'll put them in whatever yeah. we have to, whatever the day brings us. Keep, off the, yeah, keep <laughs> off the grass. Yeah, keep off the grass. Anybody want to make up some signs? <laughs> Just a question. Marie, are you taking notes? Mar just, just, shake, just, just shake your head if you're taking notes. Okay, yeah, that's okay. good. Great. Right. You can use the speakerphone on your phone too. So uh, that's, I mean, that's the general concept about the, um, you know, I don't know if you guys have any specific questions about the programs. Um, the, is it is it you, is it appropriate you think to ask people to bring extra chairs just in case? That. Well, chairs we, we'll have enough. We'll, okay. we'll be we'll be fine. Um, it just means what I was trying to do is avoid. To, you know, more work for facilities 
Right. We have so many, so many things going on, dragging them in, dragging them out. Yeah. Um, you know, all we have to do is take the hose to them in the morning and stuff if we've already got most of them set up. So that was the plan, but so okay. much, you know, hopefully it, it works <laughs> out. I mean, that this uh, it's going to come in supposedly in dribs and drabs and by the mid, mid June, we should have everything. So they tell me okay. that's after, that's after I kind of, yelled at them a little bit um about that so mm -hmm. we'll see if that made any difference whatsoever um but i don't know we'll see what happens um all, all we can do is try these things and see what works and what doesn't work we're actually planning mm -hmm. into the fall um trying to make sure we can secure our fitness instructors and things like that um whether they be on zoom um or in person um those programs have been really successful so um, we either want those current instructors to continue on Zoom if that's what they in their class want, um, or transition them over to in person, depending on what the restrictions are. Um, we are moving um, Marianne's group, the Tai Chi group, is going to start on the lawn uh, in June. Okay. So, so yeah, I think we're set. I mean, I think. You know, we'll tweak things, but I think our, the plan is set until the fall. And by then, hopefully, we know which way we can go. Um, the only other question I want to make sure we get in there is Bill's um, AV question. Mm -hmm. So we don't forget. Um, I just would like you guys to vote um, if, if you want me to buy that additional part of the AV system with the formula grant money. It's about, uh, what, $4,200 for the... <laughs> Um, for the system piece, plus some money for a um, iPad or a laptop or something. So. We need an iPad and we need a, a router, which would probably add about another max $500. So the whole thing would be under $5,000 to, to, uh, to, uh, to upgrade the uh, AV system. To, that, I think we went through this last month, did we? And Yeah. Uh, and it's to to give uh, Peg or anybody else an opportunity to uh, to control the the audio for the AV system mm -hmm. from anywhere. They don't have to run up on the stage in the middle of a movie and and control. And they can also tell from the back of the room whether people are being able to hear or not because they can be standing in the back of the room at the time they're adjusting. So it does make a little bit of sense, and it does make it easier for for Peg or whomever else. I have a question. Um, is, is this system transportable for argument's sake, if the senior center were to relocate across the street to Woodward, could that system just be picked up and moved over well, there? That, with that is an integral part of the whole system, which includes the projector, which is hung from the ceiling and a, and a, so the, the, uh, the, uh, equipment cage or box or whatever you want to call it, that's up on the stage that obviously could be moved. But you'd have to you'd have to move the uh, projector, which is hung from the ceiling. So yeah, the whole system we could take it out and move it, but it, it would be uh, you know. Got a ladder, it. Carol. I said I've got a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's I don't I don't see any reason why you couldn't take it off the ceiling and move it. It'd have to be right. rewired. You're not going to yeah. leave it there. I mean, just so, say it's like a five thousand dollar investment. And right. It, well, that's not. That's that's just a minor part of the whole big system. And yeah, that, that definitely could be moved because that consists of of changing, uh, adding some hardware to the equipment box, and then uh, having a router and an iPad. So yes, it's that part of it is very definitely transferable if the whole rest of the system goes. And, and Pam, uh, Pam, again, this fits well within the budget. <laughs> um, yeah, it basically what it does is. Um, after we take out the money for the flooring and the furniture, um, if we make this purchase, it leaves us with uh, probably un maybe about $1,500 left in the formula grant. The reason I'm questioning it is A, the amount of money and B, um, you know, is that, what, is that what you guys want to spend that money on? Um, the, the situation we have now is if we don't spend that money, we can carry it over. Um, it doesn't have to be spent by June 30th anymore. So there's, um, I just wanted to double check if that's what you want to do with it. Um, and it will pretty much deplete the current year's formula grant 
Um, we will, after July, start with a new formula grant amount. But you're sure it's not at risk if we don't spend it? I mean, the town can't um, touch it, right? <laughs> no, the town can't touch it. Um, I'm as sure as I can be with the state okay. and things like that. That's the, oh yeah, that's definitely, I mean, I have triple checked the fact that um, it can be carried over. Okay. Given that, is is there is there a necessity to hurry, Bill, or is because things will just go up in price again? Um, things will def things will definitely go up in price again, particularly as you can see, every, every yeah. jumping up lately. Yeah, it could be that it's also you get delayed, like we got with the furniture, getting certain parts, uh, et cetera. So, uh, shall we take a vote on it? Are we ready to vote on um, whether we want to do this or not? I'll make, you want to make the motion? I'll make the motion. I'll make the motion that we should uh, that we should appropriate this money to get to upgrade the AV system. We hear a second. Second. Was that a third? Third. <laughs> third. third. <laughs> I take the fifth. <laughs> all right. Uh, all in favor? Carol. Yes. Bill. Yes. Sandy? Yes. Mary Ann? Yes. Mike? Yes. Russ? Yes. And I'm a yes. Joy, Joyce so, is also on. but she, Oh, Joyce is on? Yeah, but she's on through the uh, town website. Oh. She's using chat. So you may want to ask Joyce if she approves. Thank you. I don't know if she's still on chat. Yeah, she's we'll find through. out. Yeah, I, uh, I'm here now on the town website. Yeah, yeah. All right, hang on. I'll type her a, a message. I don't know why she's on this website. But... Um, Bill. Oh, never mind. I don't know if you have to accept her as a participant so she can participate. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think she, I'm not sure she can. She says yes. Okay. Okay, so Bill, you can give him the green light. Okay. On that. Very good. Checks in the mail. Thank you, Pam. Um, <laughs> one other issue was I know just like we're working on your performance review, you're working on staff performance reviews. Mm -hmm. So you you anticipate those being done on time? Yeah, they have to be finished by the end of this month. So I gotta start pit. I gotta do one a week at least to finish them. Okay. Um, and, and it takes a little time because you have to do them and then you have to meet with the person um, and get it all together. So, yeah, I have no choice. So um, it'll get done. Okay. Um, she, uh, Joyce just uh, texted me saying she did not get the link. I Just if we could, I mean, I, I, I don't check my South Borough thing every single day or more than once a day. But if you don't have a link by Thursday night, please let me know and I'll get it out to you. Uh, but if we wait till 8, 8.30 in the morning, it gets very confusing to uh, to try to get it done. And I'm not sure if you're a participant through the town website that you're actually part of the meeting So and are, and are able to vote. So I don't yeah. want to see too many people that are not, we won't have a quorum if that happens too often. It, it seems that there are several of us that don't have links. What I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, probably because I've never activated my Southboro uh, email address. But that's exactly I, what it is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. I must have a, a long inbox at the, uh, my Southboro. <laughs> yeah. I've never activated it. You might. You, you can delete them all at once. That's the nice thing. <laughs> uh, beautiful. But first, I have to activate it. Yeah, Mike. If you figure it out, tell me. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're, we're, we're a lost idea. cause, Carol. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to meet in person next Maybe month. We'll be um, able to outside and avoid the whole thing. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. I mean, hopefully we can meet outside. I mean, I don't see any reason why. The why department head meeting to... I went to yesterday was inside. Oh yeah. At police and okay. fire. So I'm not sure why that was okay, but it, it there was a lot of people. We were at least you know spread out. Everybody had masks on. I, I, they may have some kind of air filtration system in there too. They do. Um, so that's probably why. Um, but I don't see why we couldn't meet outside. I, or or meet over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. 
Mm -hmm. Our tax dollars at work. Yeah, well, yeah. Our, our, our big hall is pretty, you know, if we open the windows and stuff like that, that's probably okay too, uh, or it will be in a month. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see if there's anything else next that's important. Um, and just any other comments? Is there anything that you think we sh Pam should be doing that we're not getting done? Tax work off, well, I'm probably looking at September um, when they hopefully, if the buildings are open, then we can bring in, I can do a tax work off sign up. Um, okay and kind of get that going. We've been on hold just because all the I employees should. are not back in the buildings even. So right. we were holding off on that. Um, people are anxious because there yeah. are jobs that can be done not in the buildings, but we want to be fair to everybody. Um, so I'm looking at September for that. Okay. Um, one other thing on the agenda is and I don't know if everybody saw it or not, unfortunately she can't respond, is Joyce has uh, resigned from the Bay Path board. Um, and I, I, she was here, I let her talk about her own reasons to do that. Uh, but what we do need a board representative. I am on the board and on the uh, executive committee, but this is my last year. Um, I actually, I'm at large, I'm not, you know, uh, a representative of the town because that, that term expired. So if anybody, A, here wants to volunteer to be on, or if you know of anybody that would like to be on the board, uh, again, we meet, uh, you know, once a month, it's about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. Uh, it's via Zoom, you know, right now. And that will probably continue for the next uh, six months or so. And it's a good way to participate. You get to know what's going on at the other towns um, and see what, uh, you know, Bay Path is up to. Uh, there's been a lot of changes. It's really a pretty exciting place uh, to be a lot, a lot going on. So I would just say, you know, uh, if we, if you can think about that, let me know any suggestions, send me names, or we can, I'll put it on the agenda again for next month as well. The new fiscal year starts in July. Okay. I'd be willing to work on it, Doug. Okay. Good. Great. I will I will uh, I will submit your name. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Hey Sandy. <laughs> now you gotta go through a Corey. <laughs> I've already done that. Go <laughs> pass. <laughs> I don't know if we're meeting in person if that happens anymore. <laughs> but that's that's good. I would like to have I would like to have a representative. Some of the towns don't have a representative, and I think it's important to uh, to do that. Um, uh, Doug, can we talk a, a minute about town meeting? Uh, yeah, that's on the agenda as well. Yep. Okay, okay we can go right now and do that now. Town meeting. Yep. Um, okay. We shouldn't, as, as far as we know, we shouldn't have any issues with our budget and things like that. It's supported by Blackman and advisory. So that hopefully is not an issue. Um, but I want to make sure that some of you guys are going to be at town meeting. Um, the um, issue that may come up, I hope it doesn't involve us, but Board of Health um, is looking at their staffing with their doctor, their nursing and their hours and um historically when the nurse comes up once in a while our nurse gets blended in there and somebody may make a suggestion like oh why don't we share a nurse and all and it gets i mean that it's, comments have been made um and i if if in the off chance that comes up at town meeting and becomes an issue um i think it would i mean i can speak to it but it would be probably better if board members spoke to that and basically you know said, hey, we haven't even talked about that. That's we have a nurse, it's a separate position, um, separate specialty. I mean, there's a million reasons, it, depending on how it came up. But I just, I just, it may not, but I just wanna make sure people are ready and willing to get up and go to that microphone if it ever does come up, because weird things happen, so. Yeah, I think that's a good point. It's, so, it's really an important point. I mean, I'm, uh, 
you know, there are very, very few um, geriatricians around that are specializing in this. I have to take a phone call for a minute, but I, I'm strong. Well, our, um, our, our nurse, our, our senior center nurse is in your budget, right, Pam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I have made sure that it's a completely separate position. Right. And so, to have kept it that way. So if that budget gets approved, then we can say, this is our nurse, this is our position, this is our staff person. And I think that that's where we can hold kind of steadfast on that if we have- I think we can. I mean, I think we can, especially like this year, I, you know, to have something go completely off the rails at town meeting and affect us would be unlikely. <laughs> um, but if the subject comes up, um, I just think we have to be ready. I mean, I'm being a little maybe paranoid about it, but um, you know, it, it, if somebody really wanted to push it, they could say, they could reopen our budget. I mean, you can do anything you want at town meeting. It, it, but what are, the hour, what, are the, what are Leslie's hours? How many hours is? 12. 12, 12. Okay. So if you say to, a, 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 they, they want a full-time nurse, all right, if you say to them, well, we're gonna take 12 hours away from, the full-time nurse to give to the senior center. I mean, that that's still a day and a half. I mean, is the person not going to take a, are they not going to give a full-time position over 12 hours? I guess that's what I'm saying. That, that's a small amount. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, I'm just saying this, this has come up yeah. um, and I don't know what form it would come up in. Um, we have a person in the position. It shouldn't be an issue, um, but the subject has come up every year for the last 20 years so and what is the board of health's position on this did they I mean, they want they want a full-time right but, uh, but do they do they accept that you want to keep your nurse and then they oh want yeah to yeah this isn't something okay. that they're you they're not leveraging it right now that i know of okay um but it, it has come up in discussions with their board um so i mean yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been touched on. So I, as far as I know, they're fighting for a full-time director, a full-time nurse. Right. I mean, we're not involved in that at all, and we shouldn't be. Right. Um, but on the off chance, I mean, I don't picture them bringing something like that up, but I, I picture maybe somebody in the audience, mm -hmm. you know, maybe saying something. So, okay. Uh, I just saw a chat from uh, Tom Little. He says the Board of Health could use your support at the town meeting for their budget. <laughs> so that's another way to do it. I have a good article that talks about uh, geriatricians and why their specialty is what it is that I had sent to Pam. And I'll, I'll, circ I'll circulate it to the board uh, because there are some very specific issues. Most doctors are just not trained to deal with the elderly. So they're, they're very, very specific issues. And just the, the way you have to deal with a lot of these folks, uh, it takes really somebody that's been specialized and highly trained. And uh, I, I think it would be good for everybody to be aware of what those are, uh, yeah, as well as support the health. The Pardon? article was good. It gave us some good points. I mean, we have a person in the position. Right. We, we always want somebody that wants to work with seniors and, right. you know, try to find somebody that already has that background in the future, you know, when Leslie retires, you know. So, I mean, that's why we've kind of kept it, you know, want to, wants to want to keep it separately because it's just right. a specialty. So, uh, but this is, you know, I may be, just be going on a limb here, but. I, I just want everybody to be prepared in case it did yeah. happen. I think that's a good idea. I think, and, and uh, I just got corrected. It's Tim, not Tom on, on, this, on the screen that we can't see. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I just think it's really important to have somebody who understands the, the real issues. And as, as we are getting older folks into the senior center and dealing with them in outreach, uh, Things are just getting much more complex when it comes to medical things. It's really important. I mean, you know, and somebody has got a lot of feedback coming through. So I think if you could mute when you're not talking, it would be good. So I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's coming from uh, Russ. Does he have a power? Uh -huh. No, Russ couldn't get, uh, could only get in through uh, Doug's name. 
Because oh, yeah. every time we hear that noise, your yellow outline jumps up, Russ. Yeah. So if you could just mute, if you're not going to talk, Russ, it would be good. Okay, I can do that. All right. Um, so that's good. So let's hit on the, how are we doing on the walking challenge, Sandy? Oh, uh, well, we have 21 people who have signed up for the walking challenge. Uh, there may be more who haven't contacted me because the registration went first with MCOA. Um, but I did ask people to contact me after they registered. So 21 of us are on my list. Okay. Um, we are going to be ordering t-shirts for people. Um, and uh, um, so far, 15 people have said that they would like to have them. Um, but I haven't gotten the final information that I've requested from uh, Midland Graphics uh, as far as um, you know, how sizing and stuff goes, they were supposed to be getting back to me, so I'll have to check with them again. And but hopefully within the next few weeks, we should be able to have them available. Oh, good. Uh, Carol, the gardens. Uh, since Joyce can't weigh in unless she's got something to say via chat, I'll read it. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't speak for the raised gardens, but uh, while the front garden is, um, it's coming along, it's beginning to bloom. And I did send out the name the garden uh, entries this morning. So look in your mailbox and I've asked each of you to express, okay. <laughs> express your opinion on which one you like the best. There's only about, I think there was nine entries. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> we've got, I think, I, I think I've had 12 um, requests for memorial plaques. If they don't have to be memorials, can we just? They don't have to be memorials. Them? No, I've had. <laughs> I've had a we're still here. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're commem commemorative plaques. <laughs> probably is a better name. Uh, but right. there's a couple of them just have names on them, and it's not in memory kind of thing. So uh, the people who have responded to that so far, I've let them know, uh, given more information, and we've been putting a handout in the the drive-through lunches to get a little more exposure on that. So going forward, it'll just include the commemorative plaques and not the name the garden part of it because uh, I'm closing okay. out the name the garden. So hopefully we'll have a name. Okay. Oh, so take a look. And <laughs> Did everybody get that? Did you get there because it went to your own email addresses? Is that right? Yeah. Yes. I, okay. When do you want a response back? I, I put May 10th. So that's Monday. Okay. You know, it's it, it's not a hard and fast, and hopefully we won't get any new entries. They, they dribbled in for a while, but I, I at some point you just have to cut it off. Okay. So. All right. I don't know. I think there's a couple of good ones in there. Not naming any names. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, not attach the entrance name to them, so it's all blindfolded. I deserve no credit. Somebody put my name in. Oh, there. I know. Pants planted. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I uh, said, hmm. yes, Pam was a big yeah. help in getting this card. Yeah, I, I said, here's, this is where we can get the money. And that's about it. Yes. <laughs> Could have done it without you, Pam. <laughs> uh, zero. Well, any, anything growing. Sure. Joyce did Doing. response. Respond. She says, lettuce and arugula are coming up. And the planting will take place on May 27th. Yes. So. And she has it nicely cleaned out. Oh, good. And, and those Adirondack chairs look really nice. Oh, and they are. They yes, go. they are really cool. Oh. Where did those come from? We bought them. We, we got them at, I think, Home Depot. But oh, we okay. made sure we got, they're yellow. So yeah. they really stick out. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And we can sit there and watch the plants grow. Yeah, <laughs> you might so want. A lot of you fun. might want to borrow one of the names of the <laughs> garden if it doesn't win the front. <laughs> right. So, Marianne, trailblazers, you guys have been hiking quite a bit. Yes, yes, we've been hiking, and actually, now that it's warmer, we hike rain or shine. And <laughs> we'll hike in the uh, in the rain, but it was really nice and covered, so we didn't get wet. Uh, so we have our our hikes. Uh, out through the month of June. So we have three hikes a month and we're, we're planning wow. And then um, boating, we, um, I'm still working on that because it's changed a little bit about how we have to go about you're doing a reservation and reserving boats and stuff like that. So I'm working on the boating program and that's gonna happen in July and August. And um, you know, once a week and uh, 
hopefully, uh, actually this guy, um, um, Paul Reed, uh, was able to use the money that we had given last year for our membership and he transferred it over to this year. And even though it was an increase in membership, he honored what we gave him last year. Wow. I, I thanked him tremendously because yeah. I, he didn't have to do that. So anyway, so he said, the only thing that's different is that we may not be able to do eight different boats in which we used to take eight people down. So people may have to double up. So, but I'm, I'm going to work that out through June and hopefully we'll get that boating program okay. down at Hopkinton State Park. So that's, oh, that's, that's what we're doing now. Awesome. And actually, we're looking forward to maybe in the fall uh, reinstituting some of our trips that we had planned a year and a half ago. And we hope that maybe the Board of Health will give us the go ahead for that. Oh, good. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, so the, the Dull Men's Club, big news, Bill. Yeah, the big news is we're meeting outside today for the first time since last fall. We're going to be meeting in, uh, for this month, we're going to meet in backyards of members, which we did last fall. Today, we're going to Mike Backer's house if he gets off of this meeting, so we can go to his house. I'll be okay. Uh, so, and then <laughs> in June, it appears that we'll be able to meet on the front lawn of the senior center, so we'll, we'll move to that. And it'll be interesting to see uh, whether the attendance stays up at, uh, after we get off the Zoom, we had a record number of 27 guys at our Zoom meeting last week, which wow. was, uh, was uh, that was a record. And, and we see the Zoom meetings have been a real success. So uh, yeah. we're, we're also planning a, a, a lunch on June 11th. And uh, it, it looks like we will meet at the Senior Center for the lunch and have the, the lunch delivered from... Uh, from Kennedy's. It's going to be a uh, Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Um, so we're, we're on a roll. We're doing good. Uh, one other thing I'd like to bring up is another group has just started, uh, the Senior Songsters. We had our first uh, sing-along rehearsal oh. uh, last uh, Tuesday. We're, we're holding them at Jim Duncan's house which is not uh, ours that is so it's uh so it's sort of an illegitimate group that Pam doesn't even <laughs> know about ours. so don't tell her no uh, i have deniability nope <laughs> so Sorry, anyway so we're uh, is not on the list that's my uh that's my report <laughs> okay that's all um, Bill and jim <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's good to see that we're meeting in person. I'm not sure I'm going to get over there on time, but I might. Uh, but um, it's it's a, it's a shame for some of the people I don't think might, will make it, you know, in person. But I understand Mike is providing a full breakfast as an incentive for people tonight. Is that true? What's your address, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> You're on mute, so we're not paying any You're attention on, to you, Mike. <laughs> on, on mute, Mike. I'll find it. Just follow the cars. Yeah. <laughs> He said, I've got 12 Cheerios. Each person gets one Cheerio. <laughs> Jeez, can at least make it 27? Bread. So we have. Yeah. <laughs> no Cheerios. All right. Um, uh, let's moving on to reports. Uh, anything going on in the Friends report with Friends? Uh, yes, we met and. Um, we uh, continue to do some event funding and uh, Pam mentioned some of the things like the, the maybe the, the food trucks or the breakfast and stuff like that. So we chip in where, you know, Pam needs us to do okay. that. Uh, the golf tournament is scheduled for Monday, September 20th. And Joan Garan has already, uh, again, they, they transferred the money from the down payment for the uh, for Juniper Hill. So that has been transferred to this year. And uh, she's been talking to Jimmy Falcone and hope, hopefully that's going to be going ahead. Uh, Carol mentioned about the plaques and it seems like that's going well. Um, the volunteer drive through luncheon, I believe was uh, funded partially or somewhat from the uh, friends. Yeah, the, the that bags were paid for. Hopefully you guys liked oh, the bags. It, that was from the friends. Yeah, it, it was really good. It was really good. good. Yeah. So, so that was, that was another thing that was funded. And, um, and we're looking forward to maybe um, like maybe some sort of welcome back uh, party or something or, or celebration or whatever events of some sort. That was just kind of a suggestion that when the senior center can open up, you know, what can we do to get people you know, to come back in? So that's I, about I think that's a good idea. Are there going to be restrictions? Do we know on, on cookouts come 
like August or July? We don't know yet, right? We just take it a month by month. That's why I've okay. got the tentative schedule um, kind of that we can do with the restrictions through August, but Oh, I've got a well, great September, suggestion. September, we might be able to be, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping September we can be in, we won't have the restrictions and we can be back inside the building too. Um, yeah. I mean, that's, How that's, would you like a Beatles, a Beatles band? They're cornmuffin.com. They are, uh, <laughs> they are really good. They're corn local. They're com. local. That, local? Yeah. They are they're from like Acton or something. I've gone to several of their concerts that they'll usually do them on like the town green in Hopkinton or yeah, Acton. find out. I, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll send the world, information man. to Pam. They're booking and they're great. They are so yeah. much fun. Right you now can't you help can't, get up and dance. Right now you can't do you can't okay. do that. But I mean in the fall, <laughs> I would love to have a band. I when mean we can. They're, they're probably a couple thousand dollars. I mean, easily, but well, that's hey, something to talk it'd to the be worth about. It. Yeah. <laughs> Joy says lunch was great. Thank you. Friends I thought it was great. I thought out, the so. whoopie pies were yeah. terrific. Yeah, whoopie pie. <laughs> <laughs> More whoopie pies and a band. They're we huge. <laughs> that sounds I'll like a creepy band should name. I send it to, should I send <laughs> it to Peg, Pam, or to you? I'll send it to both of you. Send it to both of us. Yeah. We'll definitely okay. can look into it. There's no okay. question. Um, that's the friend report. Is there anything going on, any legislative stuff going on, Carol? That No, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything either. That was really. all old news, yeah. Um, I don't know if Joyce was at the last uh, Bay Path meeting. There's really not a lot of changes either. We're waiting to hear from, you know, EOEA on, on things. They're sort of still in control and they're, they're keeping pretty much, in, you know, in, in touch with what's going on. They started home visits uh, again, uh, and so they are they are going in to do assessments at homes, um, and everything else is working, you know, really pretty smoothly. Meals on Wheels is going along very well. Uh, the ombudsman program, which goes out to nursing homes, has been halted, and I don't know when that's going to be coming back again because we just not allowed into the nursing homes in person. Yeah. We did try to help Mary Brooks out and have promoted. They're looking for more volunteers. And actually, we did get a phone call the other day. What somebody is volunteering? So that's a for Meals one. on Wheels. No, ombudsman. Oh, ombudsman. Yeah, yeah. She's for more people. Okay, it's a really good program. It, it takes a little time, but uh, if anybody's interested, they can contact me or Pam, and I'll put them in touch with the right person. Uh, but it's the the. Uh, I've, I've been out networking at a couple of, of the newer uh, assisted living facilities actually in person. So things are beginning to open up on that front uh, as well. And I still, I think with the newer facilities around like Artisan and Hudson uh, and uh, branches in Marlboro, we can get them involved in some things if we need to uh, as well, because they're, they're, their senses are way down. <laughs> they have a lot of open rooms in there. Mm -hmm looking for yeah, I was uh, wondering about that I mean I I live in between those two um and uh yeah there's not a lot of cars out there and it looks pretty empty yeah uh, you know the they're starting to they they won't admit to how much <laughs> you know they have opened yeah. but the real the ones that have been filling up the most have been the memory care units uh because I just think that there are a lot of uh caregivers that are beginning to feel that they're at they, they need help. Yeah. You know, they need this just been 24 seven for too long. So those units are, are filling up. Uh, the other place that I'm on the board for, for is a better day, uh, social day program in Marlboro. Uh, that's gone to full time We're we are open and full time, no masks, everybody's vaccinated. Uh, and, um, if you know anybody that needs some assistance like that, it's a really great, it's a really great program. As a matter of fact, um, oops, uh, hang on. Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I don't have it here. I have another background of them uh, at the beach because they're right across from Lake Williams and they have beach access. And they spend a lot of time outside. So it's a good program. Yep. I think 
Um, is there any other business that we need to discuss right now that I missed or that's important that you want to talk about? Then uh, do I hear a, uh, well, I guess we're not closing this meeting, so we don't need an emotion right now. Um, I think you just need a motion to go into executive session. Russ could correct me on this. <clears throat> Pardon? There's really no executive session. I mean, there's the, it, it, the recording will stay going on, and I need Marie to stay uh, going on. And and uh, Tim just sent. You can't use executive session for performance discussion. <clears throat> so, no. well, that's why we're we're co-host. So, Pam. Yep. If there's nothing else. No, I'm I'm going to check out. I'm taking the rest okay. of the day off if anybody's looking for me. So. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. When you're doing my review, when you're doing my, when you're doing my review, realize that I, this is my day off and I was here this morning. So, oh, yes. okay. I, <laughs> so noted. All right. so, okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. Have a good day off. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. So, this is what I'm thinking of, and they may tell me from the powers that be that we can or cannot do that. Uh, but I have talked to Vanessa about it, and she sort of agreed to do it this way. Uh, and I think it's the simplest way. I mean, we have to get Pam's review in before the end of the month. Uh, and I want I want a chance to go over it with her before we submit it. So, you know, we're sort of starting a little late in the month. Uh, anyway, because of the way the the meeting fell, uh, uh, but I'm thinking since you have a everybody has a copy of it, take a look at it and just email me or call me, and we'll talk about whatever else you would like to add and or change. You know, rather than go through line by line, if there's anything that you want to change, and that includes the evaluation. Uh, you know, each piece saying it above or it exceeds or whatever. If you want to change one of those, if you think it's necessary, um, uh, let me know. Don't use the form, however. Uh, just send me an, is an email or call me and um, we can discuss it. I'll put one, uh, I'll, I'll try to put all those comments together into one, uh, one review. And then uh, we'll have another meeting where this will be as an attachment uh, to the agenda. The agenda will only be Pam's review. And we'll do that, I'm thinking, some evening, if that's possible, next week. Um, and I don't imagine it would take much longer than 30 minutes. And then we can um, uh, vote on that. And uh, if it's approved, we'll... I'll finish it and set up a meeting with Pam. If there are changes uh, that have to be made that require another meeting, we'll have another quick other meeting in a few days. But um, I, I think from you know talking offline a little bit <clears throat> to people that uh, things seem to be, uh, Sandy has some nice suggestions of what uh, she would add in. Uh, can I read them, Sandy? Sure. Okay. Uh, I printed them out if I can find it. And I think it's an important point. Um, and a statement that would reflect the fact that she had to invent and create ways to keep seniors engaged and connect, uh, connected. Under unprecedented conditions, Pam's efforts have been phenomenal in the caring and concerns for the welfare of Southboro seniors, including those seniors who do not usually connect with the senior center. And she's helped to organize volunteer callers to set up vaccination notifications and contact to contact the town's oldest res residents, plus much more. So I, I, I think that whole attitude, and if you want to add anything in there about how she's been so resilient and flexible during these, you know, incredibly uncertain times is a really key piece. So those are the kind of things I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. And um, you know, is there anything that anybody wants to just, you know, talk about right now? Uh, only, only one word of caution, Doug. Uh, if we're going to have a meeting next week, you need to get the agenda in 48 hours before. So, okay. Um, 
you're under the gun for, for next week. Um, well, I, I can have it in by Monday mm -hmm. and you know we could have it on uh, Wednesday or Thursday night. Yeah. If not, let me take a look at my calendar and see. <clears throat> um, you know, we could probably, you know, go into the following week so we don't really cramp everything. That's the week of the 17th. So why don't we plan on a meeting week, week of the 17th? Okay. And I'll, and I'll send out a couple of, uh, next week I'll send out a couple of dates and times and see what I get for a consensus. Does anybody else have any thoughts that they want to? Uh, Doug, I, I just want to, um... I just want to question the ratings uh, and, and, the, and the descriptions and, and, the, and the top one exceptional. I know that that's very rarely used, uh, but let, let me read what it says. Outstanding performance results far exceed the position requirements, including all individual objective areas. Um, I guess the problem, I mean, I, I think there, there isn't an, an exceptional performance in this time, as Sandy had mentioned. Um, but my, my problem with it is that when it says all, uh, put the all in there. And, um, but, but I, I do want to say that I think that there has been some exceptional performance just mm -hmm. because of what, you know, they've had mm -hmm. to endure over this pandemic. I don't know how we address that. I guess that's what my question is, how we address that and how other people feel about that. I'm not saying, you know, all over the board. I'm saying maybe in one circumstance and that-, that Well, it is one circumstance. I think that all reflects a specific area, not necessarily the whole piece. Okay. So this spe specific area is sort of response to the, to the uncertain conditions or the pandemic. Okay. And under how she's responded there, I feel comfortable saying that, that you know, that she has- that she was uh, was exceptional performance okay. for everything that she's done doesn't mean it's perfect, but right. I mean it going beyond and beyond trying things. I mean it is all a part of it. That's that's right. how I would interpret it. Okay, I just want I just want to get a clarification. I, I think mm -hmm. that's important. To, okay, thank Russ, you. Do you have any other thought? You have any thoughts on that? You're on mute. Russ, you're on mute. You're still on mute. Ryan, should be the little right. microphone down in your bottom. Line. There you go. Am I, can you hear yep. me? Yes. One of the important things for you to remember or to try and work towards it, when you when you give someone an, a superior review, you're, you're then troubled with, what do I do the next year? <clears throat> okay? And, and that's, that's a real issue. I'm not saying that it, it's hard to overcome it, but realize some people say, well, you look at the last three or four years, uh, the person has gotten an, an ex exceptional review. And I sometimes wonder, is that really exceptional? Or they just don't want to face facts and, and drop down to a four, four le level and, and kind of go from there. So that yeah, would be- I, I think this one particular, Two things. One, I think this one particular case is in response to this very uncertain year. And I don't think that's going to be repeated again next year to this extent. I mean, I think this was, you know, uh, unusual times. And her and I think we're measuring her. For me, this would be to measure her on against these very unusual, uncertain times. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and so... We, we don't have a lot of flexibility and we can't change any of the wording or whatever. We just have to respond to it the best that we can. Uh, yeah. And, you know, in general, I think there are some people that perform exceptionally every year. That's the yeah, other, that's the that, other, you know, it's, that's it's the other of, piece, you know. Yeah. Um, it's not unusual for a person to repeat themselves. That, yeah. and, and the thing about next year is that, yeah, it'll be a lot harder to, to perform exceptionally in a normal year. Yeah. Uh, well, no, actually, it, it'll be, it'll be to, to outperform it'll, herself, but 
but you know, given the circumstances this year, she really did have to deal with so many, I don't know, unknowns and you know, being flexible and all this other stuff. A, lo a lot of people did. There's no, right. no right. saying that she was the only one, but she did a great job at it. You know, oh, she was wonderful. She didn't drop the ball, you know. So I think we should recognize it. Yes, and I, I think that what you say to other people means for me, the other staff, and I think it's important. I mean, I think her leadership showed that everybody, you know, worked very hard together. And I know yes, Cindy did, and, uh, you know, Peg did, um, and, uh, and she kept all the volunteers together. We had a good lunch, and a lot of the, you know, Meals on Wheels people and other volunteers where they could volunteer, they were, everybody was very active in volunteering as best as they could. And people seem to be enthusiastic about their work. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it's me, but right. they, they really seem to be uh, enjoying what they do. And I think that that's a, a sign that, mm -hmm. that, you know, that mm -hmm. they're doing well, they're doing a good job and they, they like what they're doing. You know, yeah. Enables them to do a good job. Anyway. You know, I don't know how much space we're going to have to put <laughs> put some of this stuff in. That might be uh, my hardest job will be to condense things. I understand we don't have a lot of room in this new form, but I'll this type real be, small. Doug, Doug, in the bottom, of each, at the bottom of each section is an area you can uh, type in, and I think you can go as long as you want on the, on that. Uh, okay. On your on your uh, verbiage. All right. I'll, I will. I will work on it. Give me it'll give me a week to work on it. So the if you can get your um, if you have any suggestions and want to get them into me, uh, I just would caution you, we really are not supposed to discuss this amongst ourselves outside of uh, a, a meeting. So if you're going to address anything, just address it to me. Don't address it to everybody else. Okay. And then when I come back, I will give all those. That will become the public record. Otherwise, we're going to have little public records all over the place. And it's just not necessary. The whole performance review is going to be, it's public anyway, at, you know, when we, when we approve it at the meeting. Uh, but we don't need all the comments. Not that there are any negative comments, uh, but, you know, no one wants to watch. Well, I suppose there's a few people that want to watch the sausage being made, but... <laughs> we don't have to encourage that. They just won't eat it. <laughs> so I think this is good. Does anybody have any other thoughts that they would like to do it in a different fashion? I mean, I want to give everybody an opportunity to express, um, you know, their thoughts about this. And I, just, I think this is just sort of the cleanest way to do it. And I'm happy to have a, you know, put it together and meet with her uh, to talk about it. Um, all right. Okay. So, okay, good. good. Well, do I hear a, a motion to uh, adjourn? No move. Second. All right. Uh, Carol? Yes. Phil? Yep. Sandy? Yes. Mary Ann? Yes. Mike? Let the dome man begin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Russ? Yes. Okay, and I vote yes as well. Well, this is great, folks. We got done in plenty of time. So we had a quorum here to officially end the meeting. And uh, I think we, we got done what I needed to get done. So we can I can proceed forward on this. Good. I got to go make breakfast now. The next now. meeting is, is the next, well, the next full meeting or regular meeting will be on uh, June 4th. Okay. Good job, Doug. We're going to meet outside. And hopefully we can meet outside. Yeah, yep. it would be nice. I will keep you posted. Right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a great have a weekend. weekend. Everybody have a great week, weekend, whatever. I got time now. I'm going to come over to see you guys. Hey. Harass you. See you. Bring, bring your, your own chair. Donuts. I have coffee donuts. for you, Doug. Okay. I, I made yeah. a big pot of coffee. Okay. Oh boy. Come on I'm over, Russ. Can't wait. I'll be right over. So sorry, ladies. <laughs> sorry, Carol. Men only. <laughs> Bye. Dull. Men only. Sexist. <laughs>